Hello there. In this video, we are going to see how to upload a file uh, in .NET uh, with app and uh, we are going to use blob store and then upload the file to Minio. Um, so the app already have um, a blob storing system. Um, we are going to use the Minio provider uh, available in it. I wrote a blog post about it can come and check out the blog post we will follow the blog post and then implement um, a whole thing so first uh, thing is to create a folder and then um, I'm using the previews because 4.4 is out now um, I will create a project yeah so it, it's uh, in RC2 now we are project is created let's open the okay this is the new project structure here um, so if you look at it uh, you're just missing the um, uh, you, you're just uh, seeing this uh, entity framework core. Uh, the the other project is missing, so migrations are integrated uh, inside the uh, inside the entity framework core. So what we would do now is um, okay. Visual Studio is not responding wait for it to respond hmm not good okay uh, it finally stopped so let's um, run the DB migrator so if you choose from the drop down here choose uh, db migrator and then run the db migrator so it will run um, it's running in this window it will take a while what it does is it just goes and creates the migrations for you and then also like updates the database with all the migrations Okay, don't buy creation says started. Okay, we are done now. So we can just go and check out the migrations here. If you come here, all the migrations are created. Perfect. Now um, let's run the web project um, and then I will choose file upload web and then run okay our project is launching let's check if the swagger is running yes um, we have the APIs available we can also log in and check if I don't know everything is running okay okay so everything works now let's go back and then check out the blog posts so we created so the next step is to create a document container before that uh, we have to install a blob store a package in the domain project let's come and do that in the domain um, I will duplicate this and then put 
blob storing and let's create a container so I will create a documents folder and then inside that documents folder we will put a class called documents container and the documents container will be so the blob storing container name comes from this namespace okay now we have our container then we just go and create our document entity so uh, this is to keep the reference of the documents in the database copy this so let's see what we have here um, mm, so uh, I'm just creating a fully aggregated root entity and it has multi-tenancy enabled um, and uh, this is to store the um, content type and then to store the size so there is nothing else going on here so basically it will have an ID and the file size and the file type um, so the next is to create a DTO and that will be in the contracts project so let's go to that and then create a DTO let's create a folder And then a file. Okay, so um, copy and paste the DTO. And then just take the entity. Now we have to create a um, mapper for this DTO. So that will be in the application project. You just put and then import the documents. That's it. Now, this is done. Let's add information to the DB context. So we have our entity and we have our, our DTO. Now is to go to the entity framework project put the db set here import the documents um, and add the builder just so um, this would be coming from and once the DB context is added. Now it's time to add the migration. Um, open the file location. Uh, go to the terminal. And um, you can copy the migrations command. This will add the migrations. Okay, there is an error. Let's find out what's there. Mm, okay, there is no error. Okay, so there is migrations now. Let's go and check the migration, add the documents. Okay, see, so these are the columns, everything looks okay. Now, just update the database. So come here. This will add the migrations to the database. Okay, now we are done with the database part. Let's configure the menu. To configure the menu, we have to add this package. 
So to the web project, um, you just come here, duplicate this, update it with Minio, and um, you have to add a um, ABP blob store module as a dependency in the web. So you come to the web module, you will already see a lot of dependencies. Put a comma, add, um, add Minio module as a dependency. And so um, you can copy this and configure uh, the So what, what we actually did here is um, um, we are actually um, we are configuring the Minio endpoint uh, here. So make sure you don't have like HTTPS or HTTP here. You just have to give the endpoint. And this is the access key for the Minio, uh, your secret and the bucket. I already have Minio running locally, so um, make sure your uh, Minio is running as well. Um, and that's in the configure service method. Mm. Next is to create the app service. I will again do the same, create the documents folder. And then in the documents folder, I will add a class which says document app service and so the first part is to um, just import the blob store import the repositories okay so what's happening here is um, we have a blob store container and a repository and we are injecting the repository uh, and the blob store inside the um, app service to use it in the methods we are going to create so we have two methods one is upload upload will take care of uploading the uh, uploading the f uh, file and then storing the file information and then uh, get is allowing you to just view the file so since um, okay, so let's let's see what's going on in the upload. Uh, first thing you have to notice is this uh, form from form. So this is like to mention that the upload is coming as a form data, and uh, it is the type of the data is iform files, and it's not one file. You can send multiple files. And um, in and we are going through the files and then creating a memory stream of that uh, file. So I'm creating a memory stream here and then copying the file into the memory stream here. And um, I'm creating a new grid uh, to assign the ID for the document. And this is where the document is created. Uh, so right now we have uh, we are having a memory stream um, and a newly created um, entry in the database. What we are actually doing here in the blob store save is we are saving the blob store uh, by giving the ID of the document we uh, of the entry we made in the database and then we are giving the blob container a memory byte array so uh, and then 
we are mapping the um, document into a document detail and then sending it back. Um, here in the get, uh, so first we are checking the database for the uh, entry of the um, of the file, and if the file is found, we are getting the um, file from the blob store. Otherwise, we are throwing file not found exception. Okay, now let's run this and then see what happens. Swagger. I click upload, try out, and I can choose a file, and then I will send the file. So the file has an ID and it detected the file image, and now we can copy this and come to the document ID, try out, and then give the uh, document uh, uh, ID which we created and, and then execute this, now we have the image. So basically we just stored, um, uh, stored the document and then um, we just viewed the document. What's the advantage of this is that um, now you can actually assign uh, permissions to the users and then say hey if you have certain permissions then you can view files otherwise you can't and you can also protect the document it's not going to be public to anybody so um, yeah it's just like a very simple prototype you have to build on top of it you know but you can now add authorization to get and then build your authorization on your own. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, um, I will try to improve this uh, by including a large file upload because right now we are using form data. Um, so if you have a large file, this is not suitable. I mean, this is not advised. You can actually increase the size accepted by the form but um, let's say the upload stops in the middle this is not going to re resume the upload and uh, it's not a good implementation for large files but if you are uploading a small image for a profile picture this is actually a good a good implementation um, i will try to do a, a large file upload as well but um, that will be another video okay guys um yeah that's it for this video See you in the next video. Bye-bye.